So following on from the previous video, we were trying to work out the volume of this tetrahedron and we got to the stage where we worked out the, um, the surface. We've worked out this surface and now we can use the surface to, um, to work out the volume. We will look at the uh, triple integration uh, in, uh, in the next video. In this video, we're going to use this technique here. So we've got the surface. We can now, um, we can now put this surface into into here and then this region here is uh, is this region here we are interested in this region so uh, putting this into here that will then take us to here that will then take us to um, to here that will then take us to here so now um, dy we're moving along the the uh, the dy so it's got to be parallel to the y-axis so we, we're moving along like this we're moving along like this. So we start at y equals zero. We start at y equals zero, and then we we will hit we will hit this line. Well, what's the equation of this line? Well, let me just uh, redraw it in this form here. So this is your y-axis. Well, the the equation of that line. Well, the intercept is b. Um, the x-intercept is a. So the equation is uh, y equals uh, intercept of b minus b over a x. That's that's our equation there. the the uh, The equation is this line here. Okay. So so you stop at y equals b, which is the intercept, and the gradient is b minus uh, b over a. That's the gradient. Well, anyway, you stop at this line here. So now uh, and then in terms of uh, dx. We're scanning from x equals zero, which is here, and we're scanning all the way to x equals a. So x equals a. So we're scanning from x equals zero all the way to x equals a. So that that will then take us to um, to here. So now it's just a matter of integrating it with respect to to y. So uh, integrate this with respect to y. That will then give you cy integrate this that will then give you this integrate this that will then give you this we're integrating from y equals zero to this thing here y equals zero to this thing here so now we can put this into the y so that will then give us this and then we can put this into the y here that will then give us this thing here and then put this into the y here that will then give us this thing here and here you've got y squared so this is like y squared so that will then take us to here so now um, now it's just a matter of tidying this up so um, so when you uh, when you square this it will then give you this whole thing here and then uh, multiply this out that will then give you this this times this that will then give you this uh, this times this that will then give you this this times this that will then give you this so um, so now now let me think um, let me think oh yeah you can merge these two together that will then give you this and um, if you think about this this times this um, it will then give you this don't forget think about it this this whole thing here becomes something like this so that so now um, now we we are currently here, and then then what did I do? Um, hang on, let me think. Uh, and then this thing here simplifies to this thing here, and then that thing there simplifies to this thing here, um, and then and then now uh, looking at this, we just need to integrate it with respect to um, to x. So uh, integrate this. That will then give us this thing here. Integrate this. That will then give us this thing. Integrate this. That will then give us this thing from zero to a. From zero to a. So now we can put a into. Hang on. We can now put a into here. That will then give us this thing here. Uh, put a into here. So that will give you a squared. Put this thing into here. That will then give us this thing here. Uh, when you put zero into here, it disappears. Put zero into here, it disappears, and so on. So we are currently at this stage here. Uh, I th think these two they cancel each other out, giving you um, 
giving you this. So simplify this. So the volume is given by this. So our volume is given by this. This is our final answer. Just if you want to work out the volume of this, just get the length A times the length B times the length C and then divide it by 6. That will then give you the volume. Okay?